I'm Gary Besaidnotes, aka Teddy. I'm the owner of Madhouse Customs, and this is my shop. Yeah, at Manus Customs, we specialize in building old school American muscle cars, some chopper motorbikes, bicycles, and recently started uh, doing some skateboards. We've got an adventure, and we've got a clothing brand called Manus Customs Apparel. Uh, Manus Customs started with myself and Mali uh, back in the day, I reckon about 2004. We started building a couple of chopper bicycles just for fun, and just got some interest in some guys trying to buy a couple of them like that. I then decided to take it on as a more full time business and uh, built our own shop, moved from premises to premises, eventually built the shop we're in now. Um, and then just started collecting some guys with me that are keen about cars and bikes. I've got a, a great bunch of guys working for me. I've got uh, Matt, he's come on board a while ago. He does um, all our motor Mac and bike builds with us. He's a qualified diesel and petrol Mac, so it's always good to have him on the newer cars as well. If we need stuff done in the cars, leather-wise, he's there cracking all that stuff on, so it's good to have him working on the bikes as well, and then on the leather side as well, he just tinkers around there, and he's actually an amazing leathersmith as well, which is it's good to have in the store. And then we've got uh, Troy. Troy's on board. He does um, mostly our social media and runs the office for us, all the emails and quotes and things like that, and just keeping the budgets in line and things like that. It's also rad as we're getting him to, to work on some cars with us as well. He's keen to learn on, on the cars and bike side. He's always the first guy to jump in there in the bonnet, and, it's rad having him around with his long arms. He can always pick up stuff we drop right at the back of the motors and things. Um, yeah, I think he's enjoying it. He looks like he's um, having fun, gets dirty. Um, yeah, he's really fitting in well into the brand. It's like uh, we take him on and yeah, we, he's teaching us on how to build boards and, and to work with wood and stuff. And you know, we teach him how to work with motors and, and cars. So I think the whole synergy that we've got together there is pretty rad. And then we've got Simon. Simon is uh, yeah, he's a funny guy, Simon. Simon does. A lot of the work out, he's a good good character, a lot of jokes and things like that. Um, yeah, he's always the guy stripping things, putting things back together for us. Um, cleaning the shop as well, you know Simon's been here for that day, he's just, the shop is clean, packed neatly, we have to phone him when he leaves graft. If we don't know where the tools are, he's put them, he's like, I've got them in the cupboard over here, here, here. Yeah, it's just a good bunch of guys, jokes flying all the time. Just, it's a, it's a pleasure coming to work with some good guys. I've got the same, same ideas and passions as you. Finding our cars is just also when we travel to events and driving around picking up spares and things like that, we always just got a keen eye looking at guys' yards in the back of, of farms and things like that. Always traveling to all these events, you're obviously driving out of town, seeing what guys have got in their backyard, just stopping, knocking on the door, seeing if the guys willing to sell it. Also word of mouth, uh, we've got a lot of customers that have just taken cars from us that we've bought or things that we've, we've bought and sold and then their friends see it and they also want to get something done and they just give us a call with guys and we'll have a look at it. Um, the last build we got, we got from a guy we met in a pub. His son's got a Bronco, we exchanged numbers and things that next week. Gave us a call, we went out, checked it and yeah, picked it up and we got it now. And sat around and played with some things he wants to do to it and yeah, we helped him out, put it together. And then we also do competitions with our clothes as well. We'll build a cool bike or a car or something like that. That the average guy who can't afford a bike or a car can actually have the opportunity to actually win something like that and own something cool like that as well. We also hold live gigs, uh, bands playing at the workshop. We try and do that twice a month, where we just get everyone together. Guys can see what we've built. Also an opportunity to see our new clothing that's out. And just hang out and just have a good time and make new friends. Melez is, uh, yeah, it's more than just a, a car workshop where guys put cars together. It's like a family, if you want to say. Like, Oak's always hanging out, going to the beach together, hanging out on Sundays, brying. It's a lifestyle. Guys look at us and say, hey, you guys are building cool cars and stuff. But it's more than that. For us, we, we live our brand, we, we're always willing to talk to people about cars, have a look at cars, stop guys on the road, chat to them, make mates around cars, it's, it's a cool way to live life. And so yeah, I'd, I'd say we, it's the Melas family, the Melas uh, lifestyle that we live here. Yeah.